Okay, so here I am, Valley Stream. I have a car show here at the, uh, what does that say? James A. Deaver Elementary School. And um, it's uh, supposed to start at 1 o'clock, but you know people are always late. So it started at 125. So here we are. Most of these people haven't shown up yet, so I don't know who's showing up. I don't know if the commission, I don't know when the SRT team mover is going to show up. But uh, right now, it's basically getting started. And um, this is where I am. So basically, these people that you're seeing right now, I'm going to try to refrain from telling lots of jokes until, like, you know, something really irks me. But uh, most of these people you're seeing are people who I race on the Southern State Parkway. Now, they don't know who I am, but some of their cars I recognize because it's kind of hard not to recognize, you know, cars like, you know, fucking lime green Nissan GTRs. There's only so many of those. So we're going to walk around. We're going to take a look at these cars that are already here. And then as the rest of them show up, I'm just going to stand next to the gate to see what shows up. So just listen out because I don't know if anybody's going to recognize me. Be like, hey, aren't you big trucks? You know, because they saw me drive in, but uh, hopefully nobody recognized me. So I'm just going to keep keep it down low because, see, I don't need that celebrity status. I don't need that. So we got one I-8 here. I-8s have been selling like hotcakes because, you know, they're leasing these damn things. And uh, it's a pretty nice car. I mean, it's pretty decent. There's some things I would change about it, but it's a nice car altogether. I know the kids love it. They say, oh, look at the wing doors. It's got wing doors. It's a cool car, I have to say. Far too impractical for me, though. And basically, this, there's nothing but, like, BMWs and Mercedes here. So hopefully the SRT show up and balance this bullshit out. You know, all these damn leased German cars, all half these things are used. They came from, like, Hillside Avenue, because Hillside Avenue, that's where all of the off-lease used cars go. In fact, I recognize a lot of these cars. Like, um, I recognize them just by the... Uh, some of the plates I recognize, too. I've raced a number of these people on the Southern State Parkway. Somebody brought a Viper. Got this Porsche here. Mr. Porsche here. A 5.7 liter truck. Warrior, it says. Got a Bentley. Yeah, you see, this is Valley Stream. So there's a lot of, you know, it's basically like we have access to lots and lots of used cars. Lots of new cars, too, but it's, like, mostly leases. It's, like, Lamborghini will let you lease a Huracan for, like, 2700 Aston Martin will lease you something for less than 2000 so It's mostly leases, but I, I'm not hating because the thing about it is when this stuff gets old, you don't want to keep it. And I saw this guy's car on the road the other day, this uh, uh, Ferrari. I saw this car. I saw this car. I think it was Rockaway Avenue. I was like, wow, yeah, that's cool. The 80s Ferraris were pretty goddamn cool. Forgive me if I don't answer every single question that pops up because um, it's kind of hard to see out here. I've got sunglasses on and uh, it's kind of bright. Oh my God. See, the problem is if they play music that is like copyrighted, it's going to create a situation where uh, YouTube is going to demonetize my video. So what I have to end up doing is I have to talk more and I have to talk over the sounds in the background. It's a pain in the ass. Oh, look at this. This guy, uh, this guy just went all out with the color mods. Yeah, those V6s, you really don't hear them, do you? You hear that? Everybody's talking bad about Audi. You hear that? He said, yeah, here. Audi has a lot. Of, let's move in closer. I saw a four-door S5. Yeah, four-door one. Yeah. Uh, uh, I drove in, I drove like an RS something, four or RS six before. Yeah. I always thought the S4 was crazy. Like, 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 you guys are stars now. You're live. Make it good. Make a good show. I've seen this car on the road too. 
What's interesting, though, is he doesn't have a front plate, and it also doesn't look like he has a front plate holder. The cops give you tickets here if you don't have front plates. If you're on a Bentley Continental and you're willing to deal with the possibility of having high maintenance costs, you can go right on eBay and you can find Bentley Continentals for less than 40000 And because there's so much aftermarket stuff available, you could buy a Bentley Continental for like less than forty, And then you could do like a wrap or something and it looks brand new. And because it's a Bentley, nobody else has anything that looks like it. The only downside is the cost of maintenance. So the best thing to do is to get yourself regular tires, like 20 inch regular tires that you can easily replace. And then to get yourself uh, aftermarket brakes and all that. And this way uh, you save a lot of money. But you could, like if I wanted a Bentley Continental, I could get one easily. And I wouldn't buy it brand new because there's no way in hell I'd be paying them $2,500 a month. No way in hell. But um, it's doable. And that's the beautiful thing. See, they've made so much shit within the last couple of years. And the majority of these things look alike. And if you really want to mod it out, you can get yourself a new air splitter. And there's these guys with the carbon fiber equipment and they'll make you a new hood or they'll make you a new air dam or whatever. And you can have your mod, you can have a custom made car and you could do all that shit for less than 60,000. Cause I was really thinking about building a race car. Like instead of just having a bought race car, I was thinking about building a race car and I would probably go with Dodge because the parts are cheap. So there's so many chargers, so many challenger parts that you could build yourself a race car on the cheap, have a four door freaking monster and it should still be street legal and you not have to worry about destroying the bottom or the underside of your car, which is one of the problems with the Vipers because the Vipers have those very hard front ends on the bottom and they're so low that uh, they, you know, they get damaged a lot in the front, especially, you know, potholes in New York City. That shit's no joke. Yes. We have uh, ladies, I think they're part of the uh, judging. Oh yes, this is a breast cancer awareness uh, fundraiser. So sooner or later I'm gonna get hit up for cash. But I have my uh, wallet in my car, so I'll definitely, um, I'll definitely uh, chip in because I always do. Come on, where's everybody? Okay, I got a BMW 3, um, X3 or 5 or something. Okay, so I've got 12 viewers right now. 12 people tuned in. So it looks like they're trying to, they're parking all the foreign cars over there, the expensive shit. No Lamborghinis yet. I hope I hope to see some. That would be nice. Land Rover, I think. Range Rover. I don't keep up with them. All I know is if he parks in a handicapped spot, cops might swing by and ticket him. I don't know if you remember the last video I made where we went to one of these things. Oh, look at that guy. He must be lost. That BMW right there with the gold rims must be lost. He's looking for this place and he must have just overshot it. That's what happens when your nav maps are made in Germany. I have to give BMW credit for pushing a color like this because I'm really amazed that this color actually sold. I'm really amazed. That red is nice, but this uh, this is not even gold. It's like it's like I can't even I can't even think of anything that looks that color. But, mm. I hope I'm not gonna get any. Uh, what is it called? Uh, copyright flags because the problem is I can't control what the DJ is playing you know it's a pain in the ass okay we got a Jeep here that's a oh shit Ferrari 
He must be lost. I think he's looking for us. All right, we'll see him later. So I think that was a 430 or a uh, Italia. I couldn't really see it too well, but I think it was an Italia. We'll see him later. Yeah. Mr. BMW person here, he knows that he's got one of the cooler cars. They got those laser headlights. What it is is they have a laser that passes a beam of light through a phosphorescent tube, and that phosphorescent tube starts to glow. And when it does, it creates uh, glowing, and that's called a laser headlight. They don't actually use lasers to, to shine light. They actually use phosphorescent tubes. Here they are. You see, they, they overshot the place. Now they know where we are. Got the Italia. Okay. I've seen so many Italias. They must be doing a great job selling those. I've seen so many of those. I've never actually driven one, but the next time I'm at uh, Ferrari Maserati of Long Island, perhaps I will. I think you may have seen the video that I went there for the Ferrari Red Tomato meet. He's like, yeah, I'm the best. I'm the best. Until a Lamborghini pulls out. Because to tell you the truth, Lamborghini's got more pull than Ferrari. And the gold rim BMW. It's like, yeah, I'm on the phone. I have an important phone call to Gordon Gecko. He's my stockbroker. Uh, yeah, Gordon, I want you to uh, sell 50 shares of uh, Tesla, please. I'm inclined to tell these kids to turn their cameras sideways. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? I was I was wondering how long till somebody called me out. What's up? What's going on, man? How you doing? How you doing? Which car did you bring? I have a C63. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's just bad. I saw, I saw that when your I last video on the Durango, man. Beautiful. Yeah. With all your videos. Eventually, I'll probably do a test drive of it. Eventually. Okay. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll probably tell you because I'm that one wouldn't be for me. I'm gonna get that track off. Okay. But they haven't even produced them yet, so I got time. I was looking at your car. Beautiful, man. Love oh. it. Oh yeah, I like silver. Videos, Love man. silver. Silver's the best. If you clean it yeah. once, it stays clean. It stays exactly. beautiful. Exactly. Yeah. Easy, All right. <laughs> oh, yep. Here's more of them. I know these guys. Yeah. My sister's going to get the three series. The color that she wants, they didn't have available, but she's going to get it uh, when it comes in. But she's just going to get a regular one. She's not into street racing and stuff like that. She's not crazy like I am. Okay. He's going to put the Ferraris together, maybe? See, that's the beautiful thing. See, here in Long Island, we got money. We got some money over here. Our cars and coffee are cool. Yeah, I'm really sorry about video quality because of the fact that when you do live, you don't have access to HD. I like that one. I have to say, the old Ferraris, in my opinion, look better than the new ones. But if I was going to buy one of those cars, I'd get a Lamborghini. But the, oh, I have to say, the old Ferraris are fucking awesome. That shit looks like a rocket ship. I like that shit. The new Ferraris are cool. But if I was going to spend that kind of money, I would get a Lamborghini. And if I was going to buy a two-door coupe, I would get the Maserati GT. That's just me. Now, you could say, oh, yeah, well, it doesn't have as much power and this, that, and other. But me personally, I like the Maserati GT. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I think this is a Testarossa. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. And it's, it's funny how cars have grown so much because I think ultimately car dealers have understood that if they don't make these cars bigger, they can't sell them. 
Ferraris have a little bit more interior space than Lamborghinis do. And I wish to God that what they would do is grow the Aventador a little bit more so you can make it uh, better for taller guys. You know? That's a nice-ass car. I mean, the Italian is nice, too, but I really like that red one better. I really do. And here's a six. I know these. I've seen these guys before. But I, I think definitely, if I was going to build my own race car, I'd probably get a Maserati GT. Because it has the interior space I want. It's got the ground clearance I want, and I could probably get one after depreciation. And I could probably get it for less than forty. Porsche, I'm not interested in at all. Sorry, I don't like Porsche. If I was gonna buy a car like that, I'd buy a Tesla instead. I just don't like Porsche. Porsche does not interest me at all. It's not. I. I mean, I, I just couldn't do it. I'd rather just have an Audi or something. I, I'd, I'd buy an Audi A7. I don't like Porsche. Just, I'm not a Porsche person. Okay, and this is another uh, three series. Look how many of these damn things there are with that color. See, that's one of the reasons why I don't like BMW and Mercedes. When you buy one of these cars, it's like everybody's got the same thing. LOL V8. Okay, LOL V8. Nice. But I do like the color. That's a beautiful color. Okay. Cool Asian driver. I know his insurance rates are astronomical. But everybody knows I love, I love the people. You know, I'm going back to the Philippines. I'm going to Dubai and the Philippines. So watch for that video because I'm going to make a Dubai video again. Because you already know I went to Dubai and then I went to, uh, what was it called? Seychelles. But I'm going to Dubai and the Philippines. Now, I'm thinking about whether or not to do it in April or whether or not to do it in, uh, what is it called, uh, July. If I go in July, it'll be easier on me. But if I go in April, it'll be cooler. Because if you go in July, it's like 100 freaking 20 degrees over there because that place is a desert. But um, I'm going to make another Dubai video. I'm going to try to meet up with Mo Vlogs. I'm going to send him a message and see if I can meet up with them. Because I'm going to probably stay in Bergerman, Dubai again, the Moon Valley a Hotel. Um, if you watch my video, you'll know what I'm talking about. So if you look me up, Big Truck Series Dubai, you'll see my Dubai video. And I'm going to fly Emirates again because that's the only way I fly. I don't fly, uh, I don't fly Etihad, only Emirates. Wait a minute, what kind of... Oh. I think that's an Alpina, because he's got a different logo on there or something. Can't really tell. All right, whatever. So some people uh, ask me, they say, oh, well, what are you recording on? I'm recording on an iPhone 7 Plus, and the setting is 10, 6, oh, I'm sorry, 1080p, 60 frames per second. And because I have my wire right here with my Mophie, I have my uh, wire with my Mophie. This thing gives this iPhone the power to record for hours and hours and hours. Now, I may have to split this video up because the thing about it is I don't know if this guy's music over here is going to fuck up my video with YouTube sensors. So what I may have to do is I may have to record using um, 4K. And uh, I'll probably make a 4K video once I see more, you know, cool cars or whatever. But uh the only reason why I would bother using the HD uh, mode is so that I can make sure that um, the colors come out well. Because when you're when you're doing live, you don't get HD, and that's the problem. When you're doing live, you only get like 720, I think. Most of these people probably don't realize that I'm recording live. Uh, the ones who are using live are probably using Instagram. I don't do Instagram. Instagram doesn't make sense. I get paid straight cash from YouTube every 23rd of the month. So Instagram doesn't make sense for me. 
And it's all about the cash. Harley Davidson. That's a that's a nice crew cab. That thing in the middle, I don't know what that is. That must be a speaker system. He must have custom made a speaker in there. That shit is that shit is tight. Look at that thing. Got plenty of space in that trunk for marijuana. Like briquettes. Briquettes of marijuana. Another Porsche here. Can't say that I can't. Oh, look at this. Audi just decides to break all the rules. Just just drive right in. He doesn't care. Oh, this guy's got a manual. Oh, that truck has a lift kit. I can hear it. Here we go. Oh, I thought he was going to do the lift kit show. I love the lift kit show. Everybody loves the lift kit show. Porsche here. Okay. I guess I'll wait a little while, and then, since you're the audience, you can vote and say who has the best car thus far. Because, technically, I think the best car so far is the Ferrari Italia. However, I would really, me personally, I prefer to say the uh, red Ferrari Testarossa is the best car here. But because that one's an older car, it's a classic, some people may disagree. So, you know, I'll have to say the Italia is probably the best car here right now. But uh, you're the audience. You tell me. Which car is the best car thus far? Which car is the best car? Jesus Christ. I, I was wondering how much space speak is. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, another. Oh, Dodge Viper. I'll go check him out later. He has the SRT Viper. Those are discontinued now. Not that they're not cool, but the problem is they're too goddamn small. The Hellcats outselling Dodge Vipers like 30 to 1, especially the Challenger. Rip Popeye. I, ca I can't get this music in my... I have to back away from it. I can't get music in this because if I get music, YouTube's going to fuck with my video. Uh-oh, who else is coming, I wonder? The hell is this? All these goddamn Porsches, come on, man. Where's the Lamborghinis? I don't want to see these stupid Porsches. Where's the fucking Lamborghinis? Show me some Lamborghinis, man. Freaking Porsches and BMWs. I want to see something cool. BMWs. I want to see some Lambos. And not those goddamn Hurricanes. Not the Hurricanes. I don't want to see those. In fact, let me tell this dude about the... 
Let me tell this dude about the Vipers. See, if you if you put your hand up and wave it, people will assume you actually work here. I'll come back in a second. Uh, Durango. Okay, Jaguar XK, I believe. The freaking Lambos, man. There's no Lamborghinis. Where's the Lamborghinis at? There's no way in hell that I'd be letting my dog get in the second row. No way. But if you like your dog that much, cool. Hey, nice. Are you going to park next to the other Vipers? There's, there's a Viper section against that wall. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, when you came in, I saw you. I didn't get a chance to tell you. No, it looks good, man. It looks good. I like that. All right. All right, yep. Yeah, so I just pretend I work here. It always works. Okay, got another Dodge Durango. I do like the X6, though. I'm not into the BMW cars. I kind of like the uh, crossover. The X6 crossover, I like that. That is something I'd consider buying. But anybody who knows BMW knows all you got to do is wait till the things are certified pre-owned. and you buy yourself that. You save like 50% of what you would pay. Or, you know, sir, because it, my, I, when I buy cars, I want to buy them new. But my problem is I don't want to buy a new car. If I know it's going to be obsolete like the day I buy it. It's like, that's not how I roll. I don't do obsolete. Or at least I try not to. I don't like that at all. I don't like that. I like, oh yes, this is a breast cancer awareness car meet this is a car meet for cause breast cancer awareness yeah see this is probably the best car here but if a single lamborghini aventador rolls up this guy loses automatically automatically best car would be the lamborghini aventador if there was one here but there's not and that's a problem i consider uh this um green this car meet is at james a denver uh dever elementary school james a dever so just look it up on your google maps and then you will know exactly where it is it is on corona oh shit oh well that's a black 17 jeep srt okay florida plates the reason why it's florida plates is because otherwise the insurance would be ridiculous so people register these cars in georgia or florida anywhere but new york city You know I am. I What's up? Brother. I'm looking. Right. You just got this, huh? Well, about a year. A year? 17, right? This is bad. Yeah, it's bad. I'm still waiting for the track hall. Well, thank you. I love your vlog. You thank you. I live on the street, and that's why I came down. I'm looking at the whole shit. There's a car show right down the street. Yeah, I parked mine over there. Yeah. Up until you got here, I was the only Jeep SRT. Oh, wow. Yeah. So now we're brothers. There you go. Where you want me to park down where you are? Yeah, there's nobody else. No, I mean, there's no space right there. Some of these guys park together, but no, you can you can live right here. It looks good. Just let people see it. Unless there's, there's no middle ground. That's the problem. There's all these BMWs took up the center. Uh, I, I love you when you get on the when you're on the southern state parkway. You get on the east side. <laughs> well, you try. You know what it is. Oh yeah. You know what it is. See, the only part of the reason I want to upgrade is just so I get the shifter like that. But then I think about it. It's like my shifter has the quick forward and back without having to go back and pull over. Yeah. You know? yeah. But no, it looks good. Everything has its advantage and disadvantage. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Looks good. Looks real good. So I love you. I, I guess I, every day. You added this 392 badge or yeah. it came with it? Yeah. yeah. Because as you Dodge and Chrysler want to hide what they got inside these things. I don't know what their problem is. It comes with no badge at all. I don't know what their problem is. I got to buy a hood. I got to fabricate a hood. And there's a guy in Queens who uh, makes Hellcat hoods. Corona. And I. 
Um, Verona Designs, yeah. Yeah, be careful. Did be you careful. East Coast did I did not. I, I, believe me, I don't want to have to buy one. Right. I, yeah, I, I don't want. I want to be real careful with that. But there's a Russian guy too, and he ships they, them over. Yeah, they make the parts for the rear spoilers and things also. The yeah. I got. Stay away from Verona, man. Honestly, I don't even want to. I don't want to have to do that. But they leave you no choice, you know. I mean. How are you gonna how are you gonna survive with a a Hellcat G? That looks exactly that like looks what I got. Like I don't like that. Jeep. I don't like that. Like you said, I would have voted for you to be on the board of directors. Oh shit, the man. We'd be turning up monsters left and right. Left and right. Absolutely. Just monsters. <laughs> I'd put the Hellcat in the Pacifica. <laughs> They'd be like, yo, this guy's crazy. I know you're gonna put the Hellcat badges on your. Oh, head. of course. And take off that damn crop walk that looks oh, like. Oh man, all that's getting ripped trailer. off. What I would do is for that back badge, I'll get the um the, the Hellcat badge that's long with the cat head on it. Yeah. Because you the, the one that they put on the seven kids. That's the what. One I'll has do. like an SRT. With and the then it has the Hellcat at the end. They won't even call them Hellcat SRTs anymore. It's, it's, I, they're so stupid. They're so I don't know what that's about. And but you know what it was SRT when they spun it off as a brand yeah. and they had the track experience and everything I went and did that like twice but the thing about it is now they just wanted to be Dodge but that's the dumbest thing they could possibly do they could they there's no reason why they can't keep the badge like this there's no reason did you get a track experience when you bought your SRT I bought it, I got a track experience on both I got a track experience on a 300 on no but that's because SRT doesn't exist anymore as a, as a that's brand that's it doesn't brand. exist anymore Dodge wanted it back. And it was a great man. We went to English Town, and um, they, I, I made videos on it. It was like they they gave you they, they gave you a great experience. They let you drive every single car. That was when the Jeep SRT first came yeah, out, yeah, like this, right? Yeah. The fourteen. Um, I think I got one experience with my three hundred, and I got one with the Hellcat. But the the Jeep, I didn't get one for. Uh, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, I didn't get one by that time. Yeah, but uh, no, that's just what it is. That's just what it is. It's corporate guys, and they're saying that they're going to abandon V8s by 2020. Oh, well, I heard that. That's, and that, supposed to go to the Italian or uh, Have you Italian. seen the new Alfa Romeos? The quadrifolio? Uh, not that's the quad. The, they're going to make twin turbo V6s and four cylinders. I mean, uh, that's not me. I'm if a, that happens, I'm I'll get a Tesla. If that happens, believe me, I'll buy a Tesla. I'm old school. Those Teslas are quicker than There's only two cars that I could personally have as Billy Drive at this point. Either a Tesla. Or a Mercedes S Class, yeah, you know, or an SRT of some kind that still has the. If they if they still have it though, but see that's the problem. Even the Germans, they're cutting down all their engines. They're they're making um, electric. They're saying that Europe cars are going to be almost a hundred percent electric by twenty forty. Yeah, I know, and you know damn well they're all going to be governed. Oh, of course, because they're too fast. They're not going to, and they make no sound. Oh, please. Yeah, they, and that's the other thing because the blind they can't see them. They don't Personally, know they're coming. I, I just I like the sound of an engine with compression and horsepower and noise. I like the naturally aspirated and yeah. supercharged V8. V8. I, I drove the twin turbo S class. I drove the BMW brand new. They have turbo lag, and it's like you stomp on the accelerator for like at least a split second, nothing, nothing happens. happens, and it's yeah. incredible. I'm like, wait a minute. Even if you put it in sport mode, you go to sport plus, nothing happens. <laughs> but I, and I, I, I detailed that in a video. Yeah. And I was out because I test drove the new BMW 7 and the S Class back to back. Because I used to have uh, S Class. Uh, yeah. I had the uh, W220. Oh, shit, man. I go through car like every what like. You do with, your, with the Hellcat, the red one. That, I, I, I was oh, no, no. laughing like shit when you were driving oh. that home from the city in the snow. Oh, said, oh man. Oh, my God. The guy's going to kill himself. You, those cars, one thing I've realized is. You don't keep those cars because they depreciate real fast. Oh. So I'm going to get the, uh, what is it, the Trackhawk? Yeah. And um, gonna... I trade that one in for it. Oh, you're going to keep yeah. your... No, the Jeep's going. No, I'm going to well, get rid of that, too. The Jeep and the, the other one are going to go to get the Trackhawk. Yep. So when is the Trackhawk supposed to make an appearance? They're starting to build them now. Okay. Like like within this month, they're starting to build them. I know the Demon guys are bitching like hell that they only made 100 of them so far, and they're, and they're only going to make them until March. Yeah, yeah, make it's a slow process, but once you get it, you got it, you know, yeah. if you're on that waiting list. Yeah. If you're so on that list. Let me know? get this right, Big T. There are no more Jeep SRTs. They're done. Jeep SRTs are being produced for 2018, but after that, it is no longer called a Jeep SRT. Okay. Now, will they call a 6.4 liter Jeep something else? Maybe, because if they come up so with this, still gonna make that. 
6.3. That's the thing. You just don't know. But 2020, they said they said they're going to change it. They may call it Trackhawks. That you don't know. And that's so stupid. It should be called a Jeep Hellcat. It shouldn't be called the track. I don't know what's wrong with these people. I'm with you. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no reason why you can't say that the Hellcat is your highest level trim. Because you can, if you call it Jeep Hellcat, everybody right away knows, okay, that's the Jeep Hellcat. The track hog doesn't mean anything, but they want to make it mean something. That's the problem. Yeah. They want to make the name for it. But I got kids that run up to me and they're like, oh, yeah, you got the Jeep SRT. You got the Jeep SRT. That's how they know it. When they watch it on YouTube. The same thing. Yeah, when they watch it on YouTube, they're like, oh, man, that Jeep kick everybody's ass yeah. on YouTube. I got the kids in my neighborhood. I live down the block. I live on a dead end street down there. And the kids come over all the time when I'm Ooh, cleaning. Oh, yeah. Car. They want to look. I got a Corvette, too, in the garage. Oh, really? It's an old, oh, an old here's my team. Oh, there they are. We got the Hellcats ready. Ready to move over, guys? Uh, yep, that's them. You know what? state we had to take the signs off the top yeah of the, let me go over there you come with me yeah come with me in video it was because the problem is they um they'll give you tickets for them yeah. finally we got the hellcats and the slt rolling got team mike i'm so glad you got here i was surrounded by nothing but bmws so glad you got here thank god it's not so right there i think i think that's not so Thank you. Yeah, very outnumbered. Got Mike. He got the gold rims. Got he, he just got those gold rims. That's beautiful. That one. Yeah, I, I, cool. when I saw that, I was like, wow. That's the older model, too. Yeah. There's really no difference between this one and the 14. The only the difference grill, is right? that uh, eight-speed transmission and that new front and end the grill, and yeah. the back end, because you can see the uh, back end LED lights. But for the and most part, it's the same car. Yeah, no, he just got his health caddy. Thank yeah. God you guys got here. I was surrounded by nothing but foreign cars. <laughs> Thank God. Yo, rev it for me. Rev it. Rev it for YouTube. Yeah, that's smooth, man. Yeah, boy. That's sound. There we go. What do you do? You edit your videos oh. when you go home? Uh, um, right now I'm live. I'll make a 4K video later. Polly, rev it. Paul! Go, Paul. Rev it. Rev it once a time, man. Okay, so this is. Well, this guy must be Magnum Mafia, I think. Oh, There's a team called Magnum Mafia. There's also a, this Team Mopar 360 Magnum Mafia. And then those guys right there, Team Mobile. I'm so I'm so glad they got here because I couldn't take these goddamn BMWs no more. <laughs> I took my sister um, looking for one. She's gonna just get a regular one. She's not a racer or nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's just gonna get like a regular three series. She's more and she's more interested in just the color. She just wants a um, she wants that M4 blue, but she yeah. wants it on the uh, on a three series. But they don't make it on a three series, so they were trying to locate one for it and everything. Yeah, she, she doesn't care about the car. She cares about the aesthetics. She yeah. just wants it to look like that. See, and this guy got a Hellcat hood uh, fabricated. Oh, shit. Yo, this guy's got nitrous coming out the back of that GTR. <laughs> when you got your uh, Hellcat hood, what'd you get it from? Who made it? Verona? Verona. Verona on yeah, Queens Boulevard? Yeah, the first one made. Now, I see you got pens. I did that. Well, does it fit fine without the pens? Because yeah. I was going to get it for a track car. Yeah. How much did he charge you? $3,200. Okay, yeah, I could do that. And it fits. You're happy with the fit and everything? Yeah, my custom made that. Custom, and he made Nobody it. Nobody has it. Well, no, I want to get one. I know yours is a little bit different, but I want to get one. Yeah, I like that. I like that. What now, he has a Sorona uh, Hellcat hood. What happened to East Coast Jeeps is that he bought one. It started to shrink on him after he got it painted. Yeah, I'm scared of that shit. Because the carbon fiber, I'm not sold on carbon fiber. It, like, I would rather have fiberglass because my problem is carbon fiber can be done really well, but it can also be done cheap. Yeah. And, then, and see, if you get one of these high-end cars that comes with all that stuff, carbon fiber, all that stuff's warranted. When something goes wrong, yeah. they just replace that part. Yeah. But I don't want any bullshit. I just don't want any bullshit. I don't want any bullshit. So, but you know, and what kills me is I shouldn't have 
to get anything made. That's the problem. That's what kills me. Even if the factory said, yeah, we'll do it. It'll cost you $1,000. Throw it in. Go ahead. Do it, Ed. Go ahead. This damn thing cost $80,000 in the first give place. Give us an option. Yeah, give me the option. What's going on with these people? Yeah, I know. And the Durango looks good. I've yeah. seen two Durangos, both they in are, black. They are nice. And just that hood makes the entire difference. Makes the entire difference. Is that, is that hood different than a Jeep hood? The Durango? Yeah. It's got the Hellcat snout. It's the like, same like, otherwise. What? No, 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 no. Because the Durango has different uh, hood. Uh, it has different headlight design. Okay. So it has a sure. different headlight design. That will not look into. Mm, no, that won't fit. It, the Durango hood will not fit on the Jeep. Fit, it just yeah. won't. Okay. It's it's not a, it's not bad. the same shape. Too bad. That would have been the perfect way to go. Oh yeah. I want fiberglass. I don't want carbon fiber hoods. Yeah. I, I do not want that. I don't. I just don't trust it. What happened to that guy in the BMW stuck? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know you like that. Yeah. See, if they had gotten here a little bit early, they could have occupied one of these spaces. But these guys got this thing started at one. Wow. And uh, I came in at 125. See, that's why you got to almost see. I know you want to roll in, but the problem is you get stuck. You don't get the best spots. You know? yeah. But I tell you, when you want to go to a car show, when they have that Gold Coast Concourse, that's the one you go to. Where is it? Um, they they changed it last year. It was I think Oyster Bay. This year it was in uh, Glen Cove. Absolutely. And it's usually during oh, the end of August. Too, I made a video of the uh, Gold I Coast. That. I think I made a video in Oyster Bay, I think it was, or near Oyster Bay. I saw your video out there. I said, That's, I know where that is. But, they, man, they had so much stuff, and BMW came, and they brought their car. Like, that's that's when you have a good car show, when you have dealerships show up. Yeah. McLaren came. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ferrari came. Yeah. BMW came. I think Mercedes came. They had, like, little sections. I was like, oh, they got the 7. You could get in it, and you could sit in it and everything. I was like, now that's a car show. Now you know, this this is a fundraiser. Yeah, you know. You know something else I notice in your in your vlogs. Yeah. Most guys walk around with the cameras pointed to themselves. I don't do that, that shit. I don't do that. I never see your face. Yeah. Unless it's a reflection in the glass <laughs> or something. You're doing. Yeah. I, I, it's not about you, me. It's about the it's about the the subject. I did see you in Far Rock uh, a few weeks ago. You were hot riding through, and I was in my company van at that time, and I said hello to you. You waved back. And I said, I see you out in Malvern in places like, not Malvern, out in uh, Massapequa. AMG, you got gold brakes, that's cool. Oh, that's the new 63. That's the new C-Class 63. Those are pretty fast. You know, I'm just not into guys on pink things. I'm just, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't know, I'm old-fashioned, I'm old guy, you know. Yeah. But, I think Cameron started that. I think Cameron, the rapper, started that with the pink t-shirts and all that. I think he started that. Yeah, so because it was never fashionable to wear, but you, it's breast cancer. Yeah, no, breast cancer true. awareness. Technically, we're supposed. You see, some of them actually yeah, have a no, picture. That, they that, that, they that, ask you to. That, that's cool. My wife is a uh, breast cancer survivor. My thing is, listen, I'll give you the money, but I'm not wearing it. I'm sorry. No, no, I'll, I'll pay double, but I'm not wearing it. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I'm planning uh going back to Dubai. I was gonna go to Dubai and the yeah, Philippines yeah, I again. Saw that, I saw that video. I'm gonna see too. what the uh, car game looks like. Cause you did you see the part? Where I was walking and a Bugatti Veyron Super Sport just drove right past me. I didn't even know the bastard was coming, cause you didn't you didn't hear it. You didn't hear it at all. Yeah. And the dude just slipped by me. I was like, Ah, oh, my God! Shit. And I was expecting to see more of them because everybody thinks, Oh yeah, the, the police have a Bugatti Veyron you, fleet. You, you I never to saw buy that. Business? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, this time I'm gonna go there, and then after I'm finished, there, I'm gonna vacation to Philippines. So oh, last time man. I was in Dubai, and then I went to Seychelles, Africa. So where are you from originally? Here. Yeah. I know. Born no. here. Born in Brooklyn? Born in Queens. Queens, me yeah. too. South yeah. Jamaica. South Jamaica. Yep, me too. That's where I live. Right I got on. one house in South Jamaica, and I got one in New Jersey. 69th Street, Fox Boulevard, right by the uh, Baisley Project. Yeah, I'm not far from there. That's where I grew up. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm also, not far from there. I also like the fact that you're, <laughs> you're a conservative. I said, holy shit, this brother's a conservative too. I said, that's it. Well, I, I honestly think part of, you see, the, you know what the problem with this country is? It's it's polarized. Oh, yeah. And the problem is it comes down to the working class versus the non-working class. <laughs> and then right. at the edge of that is the rich. But the yeah. problem is, you notice, like, here's a question. 
do you even know what the cutoff point from being middle class to rich is? Do you no, even know? No. Because they, they, it's a weasel word. It changes. My problem, first of all, taxes are so high that you can make 250 as a as a family and still live relatively at the edge yeah, because you're getting edge. taxed and then you got the housing costs Ooh, and all and school costs and tuition and everything. So my thing is, the real problem with this country is it's polarized. The media has polarized it even more. It's hyper-polarized. So the issue is everything comes down to taxation. Because if you really think about it, every single thing comes down to taxes. Absolutely. Every single thing. Even if you're talking about abortion. Oh, yeah, well, you can get them. I just don't want to pay for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you, okay, you shouldn't have to pay for them. But the thing about it is, well, then you have to wonder, well, why are these people getting them? And then the question is, well... The job loss is part of the reason why some of these women are like, yeah, I can't afford this. I can't do it. So if you improve, if, if we hadn't given all our jobs to Asia, yeah, there you go. then you wouldn't have a situation where people are feeling pressed up against the wall. But now that you've done that to people, now you have to accept the consequences. Everybody's at each other's throats. It's a shrinking pie. Out of control, immigration, all these people coming, they all, they all look you, you know what? Too. I'll tell you the thing about immigration. I- immigration, it's like... Well, first of all, they think it's just, you know, Mexicans. But the thing about it, it's not Mexicans. It, it's people coming through Mexico, Venezuela, El Salvador, yeah, Guatemala. Yeah, absolutely. So, no, but the thing about it is their economies are so fucked up. As Venezuela, these people aren't eating. So, so the thing about it is they, it's not that they're coming here because they just want to sneak in. They're coming here because the they're option is starving. For a yeah. So my thing is, it's like, first of all, this country was built on cheap labor it was built on slave labor yeah and after the slave labor then the immigration policy said listen we'll take anybody but right. you're going to come here you're going to work cheap the problem is the welfare system makes it so when people come in they know that there's yeah. always a safety net so i don't have to work yeah. as hard open borders and a welfare state you can't that shit never works nope. open bo- open, you can have open borders because that's freedom people can come in people can go out that's freedom but a welfare state <laughs> no. That shit don't work. Just they come, they don't leave. It doesn't work. It doesn't and they work. Find out quickly, you don't have to work. Because let, let me tell you something. If you did not have the welfare system, illegal immigration would disappear. Yeah. In fact, the economy would probably double back, and it would probably improve more than it. Because see, my problem is, see, well, here's the thing. First of all, I've worked for banks. I understand money. I understand business. I understand international business. One of the problems is they keep talking about the economy doing great because of Dow Jones. Dow Jones only represents 30 companies that employ less than 10 million people out of 150 million workers. But but the problem is they say, oh, yeah, the Dow's doing great. The Dow's doing great. Here's my question. How are your pockets? How are your pockets yeah. doing? Yeah. So if you can tell me, oh, yeah, the Dow's 50,000 or 30,000 or whatever, but you're starving. I don't give a fuck what yeah, the Dow yeah, says. Yeah, the Dow this guy's got a 14. See, let me tell you something. With that track look, when they took those front lights off, they completely ruined that car. There's no reason why the track hawk should look like less than the 14. If it was me, I would have either doubled the lights, the LEDs. And they and they also left out I, the, uh, the fog lights. The fog lights. They left it out. What's wrong with these people? Yeah, because when... Okay. It's amazing. It's just those lights. You can tell two or three blocks away exactly what yeah, kind of car that is. Yeah. But the track hog, man, they really shit on that car. They re- I think what it is is they said, yeah, we're going to, this is going to be the end of the V8. So we're going to go out with a bang and we're just going to throw what we got left at this because. That's why the demon, that's why all of those. Going th- out with a bang. It's, it, yeah, going out with a bang. Because you really think about it. These, uh, these are $30,000 cars. They're selling for $80,000. You think about it. They're taking a $30,000 Challenger. Taking everything out of it, putting a powertrain in there, and selling it for eighty thousand. You get two speakers with a demon, just two. We get nineteen. Yeah, nineteen. No. I don't even think you can use the phone the same way in the demon that you use it in our cars because it just there's not as much. Not yeah, everything. The weight has been cut. So all of the stuff that we got, you don't even get. A, you don't get. Obviously, you don't get a back seat. You don't get a passenger seat. You yeah. could add it in, but if you bought a Challenger Hellcat or a wide body Hellcat. You pay less money and get more. And if you really want, okay, to be a race car, just mod it. Yeah. You know, you're not going to be on warranty anyway. But but this, these are $30,000 cars that they're selling for close to $100,000. That, that, that that's, 
brilliant. Talk about <laughs> that's, genius. That's brilliant. You're taking everything out and charging your money. Taking everything out. Oh, yeah, well, weight reduction. I think we and, and to justify what did they do, they put a roll cage in with a demon head on it yeah. to justify it. Yeah. You, you, oh, and then you they won't. Roll cage? You don't even get a roll cage. It doesn't come with a roll cage. It comes with that five point harness bar oh, in the yeah, back. Yeah. And you have to put your own roll cage in because they're like, yeah, we're not doing that. This thing needs a roll cage. It needs a roll cage. Now, 4GT, they built a roll cage into it that's certified uh, 4GT. But see, and it makes me wonder, well, why didn't Dodge do a reinforced um, roof and everything? Because you can't have a sunroof in that thing. But no, basically, the way that car is being sold, that car is a collector item. They don't want you racing it. It's like, yeah, it's fast as hell, but nobody's ever going to see you gonna race it. It's going to go up in value, so save it, tuck it away. In Put your it in your garage. Or... Don't drive it. Yeah. Zero miles for the rest of its life. <laughs> so my thing is, well, what sense does that make? But you think about it. They could just as easily take that same powertrain and put that in just about every other one of the cars. They could put it in the Jeep. They could have a yeah. Jeep Demon. That's right, yeah. They could put a Dodge Durango Demon. All they got to do is beef up the suspension or whatever they do. And at the end of the day, you're selling a $30,000 SUV for close to 100, 000, or 110 dollars Because the, the build on my uh, Trackhawk, that came out to like 105 You know? So you're talking about... Where are you getting that from? What deal is that? Um, which are either security or uh, what says people? Um, um, Garden, Garden City, one of the two. Whoever gets it first. I, I told him. Star. That's where I used You go. went to Jamaica Star? Yeah. Okay. That's where I got this one from. Yeah, one of the the first uh, three hundred SRT I got, I got from Star. And my friend, I went with him. He got a Hemi five point seven three hundred when they first came out. He got yeah. it from Star. I don't like their. Um, the closeness, like, if I get service, I ain't doing it there. No, you're, uh, not, you're right. I'm not doing the service. My car banged up yeah. in that place. Yeah. yeah. I, I, they got it's too small. Narrow. It's too small. Yeah. That, that That's a terrible place to put a dealership like that. Terrible. And then they got the used cars right next to it. They got Fiat right next to it. Yeah. That's a they're horrible place. In a small place. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at How all. How long are you staying here today? Yeah, this thing ends at 4, and it's 2.23, so I guess uh, maybe an hour or so. I'm waiting to see if anything, like, really cool comes in. You know? You're going to keep your vlog going during the time. It's just running live, man. I got the battery. I got the, the battery is eight hours. <laughs> the Mophie right there. Got the car wire. It's just running. So will I see myself later when, when you're... Mo most likely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll see yourself. You'll see yourself from inside the Jeep till right now. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice, that's an awesome drug though. I know it must be paying the ass washing that thing. I, I I don't know if I can do black cars anymore. Oh, Mitchell, let me tell you, keeping up with that black, it, I'm a, you're a slave to it if you want it to look good. Yeah, I washed I washed that silver one time and it lasts almost a whole week. <laughs> so the, right. the, the wife, wheels get filthy. My wife has a Mercedes with silver, and it the right, the brake dust kills the wheels. Yeah, I had to change. I put ceramic brakes on this because I couldn't take the, the Brembo the brake dust. I, so I put the ceramic pads on it. It helped a lot. Yeah. Cut back big time. Oh, so you already changed your pads? Changed the pads okay. only. How many miles you got? Uh, 4,000. Oh, okay. That's not bad. I don't drive much. I don't take it to work. It's a, it's a fun car, actually. I got a company. Now, I use these things as daily drivers. Daily. Yeah, I know you do. It's I know it's really daily driving. If it can't be a daily driver, then I don't yeah, want it. It's worthless. Yeah. That's why you talk about it. Talk about having it four wheel drive, four wheel drive for the snow. This dude's on my team who, um, they they had to rethink how they handle having a Hellcat because the problem is they're they're buying tires every other month, <laughs> and and no, no, because you people ask you to show up, do some burnouts or whatever. Next thing you know, you got no treadlock. And those tires are expensive. Well, I'll tell you this: if you if you want to spend the two thousand dollars, you can go with your OEMs. If you don't, you can get uh, from uh, Walmart. They got the um, Ventus V twelves. Ventus the they got the Ventus V twelves fits our OEM size, one hundred and seventy a piece. Ventus V twelves, yeah, Walmart. Are they good? Oh yeah, no, I've had them before in the three hundred. They're excellent all season tires. I'm checking them right now with that Jeep to see how many miles I can go before I get to the indicator. The right Pirellis now, gave me 20. Right now, you, what do you have on yours at the moment? Ventus V12. Oh, you did? You got it? Right now, yeah. And how long did you have them on there so far? 1,000 miles, maybe. Oh, okay. So you just got it. Right? Yeah. What, it cost you less than half the price? Um, one set, Walmart had them 170. It took two days for delivery. 
one seventy a piece. Same, width, same, same everything. Same every. Yeah, I got the down. same OEM right size. Yeah. It's uh, all the way down there. Well, it's all the way down there. It's, it's parked a, on this I side facing it. Yo, you'll see it. It's the only silver one. It's the only silver one. Cause okay. that white, the white one parked there. I'm gonna go and check out your tires. Yeah, yeah. Big T, it was nice to meet you. All right. My name I'll is Paul. Paul, I'll see you and, around. Uh, I'll see you around. I'll be on checking the highway <laughs> on the southern state. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's walk around a little bit. I think I should do a 4K video at this point. I could go 4K. Drone going.